Bakers, happy new week to you. I hope you are doing well. It is Monday morning and I am getting ready to clock into work for the week. I have lots to do, lots of projects to concentrate on this week as well as some shop work as well. It's a mailing day, a shipping day. Uh, Mondays and Fridays I ship out orders so I'll get to that later this afternoon. Um, I'm going to go to the grocery store and hopefully target tomorrow. Um, it was just too much of a tall order on a Monday and there are quite a few things that I need to concentrate on for work. So, which I think I might have just said, you could tell my brain, my focus is already there. So I'm going to head over to my desk and I will check in with you all later. <music> afternoon I am going to take a break for lunch and I'm watching the replay of Sue uh, knit 24 on Periscope and I just got a notification that my taproot magazine was just delivered I'm gonna go down and pick it up Ooh, I've got a Hermione Granger hair today and every day <laughs> But yay, I got it. This is my first Taproot magazine in quite some time. And I'm so excited. I think I might subscribe, but I wanted to get one issue and test it out, see how I like it. I also got um, some additional Swedish dish cloths. So here's this fun fall themed one. And here is this really cool one. I'm like really into chickens right now. Off and on I am. Shout out to Hugh Loco Chicken Collection, Backyard Chicken Collection. Beautiful yarn, but I love this one. And then I got this really fun one for spring with a little bunny and bird. Oh, I love these. So these are sweet, different brands of dishcloths. This one is Sweet Gum. And they're made, they're 100% compostable and uh, biodegradable. They're a cellulose and cotton blend, all of these. And <clears throat> you've probably seen me use them before um, here on the vlog, but I love these. These have replaced paper towels for me. I do keep one emergency roll of paper towels in case there's a spill that can't be wiped up with these without ruining them. Or if my family dog visits and has a little accident, which I sadly don't think will happen anytime again because he's getting up there he's almost 15 if he's not 15 already but anyway so yeah so i'm excited this one is valia brand and these are all on taproots um site because they have like a little shop and this one is more joy brand so yeah i'm excited to add these but i also got some cards for mother's day for my mom and my sister but I'm gonna dig into this here on my lunch break. John Krasinski, you got me again. <laughs>
evening. It's just a little bit past seven and I've been settling in for the evening, just chilling out, playing video games. And I'm probably gonna head to bed soon and stretch out and read for a little bit. I wanna make some headway on the book I've been reading, The 10,000 Doors of January. And earlier I made some almond butter flourless cookies. They turned out really, I'm interested to see how they hold up in the morning because they're I think they're supposed to be crispy but mine are pretty gooey and I cooked them longer than they're supposed to be but maybe that has something to do with the almond butter that I used anyway it satisfied the cookie craving anyway and I learned how to make powdered sugar out of coconut sugar or any kind of sugar you put um I think it was a cup of I think the recipe says a cup of any kind of sh sugar that you want to, you know, regular refined, coconut, you name it, and then a tablespoon of arrowroot. And all I had left was a third. So I did a third of a cup of coconut sugar and a teaspoon of arrowroot. And it came out really good. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to making some more of that at some point. But anyway. I'm gonna get to bed and stop waffling <laughs> and I will see you all tomorrow. Hope you're well. Bye. Mm -hmm.